Hello travelers, I'm Valin and today I want to talk about traveling tips of Japan part 2. So yesterday I had a chance to meet two people who have lived for the main part of their life in Japan. Mostly around Tokyo. I had a chance to ask some questions and hear their advice and stories. So first of all, beer. So beer in Japan is quite expensive. For one glass of beer you pay around 4 to 5 euros. So around 400 to 500 yen. And the beer in Japan also has less alcohol. Because Japanese people all are easier to get drunk for some reason. I don't know which reason but... So, for the people who love to have a beer at the night, at the, at the evening out, be prepared, it won't be as strong as normal beer. The second thing I want to talk about are Japanese restaurants. Sometimes you see those pictures of restaurants with a whole queue lining up to go inside and eat. Well, the reality is that doesn't happen often, only at some certain times if they have a special seasonal thing on the menu that's only for a week or a month max so yeah you don't have to queue up at least not a lot another tip I want to give you is go to a restaurant in the afternoon because in the evening you will have to pay more it won't be much but you will have to pay more and they also advised a place to go eat. It's reasonable cheap. You'll have tea, a soup and your main dish for 500 yen. That place is called Tanya. The place where you find those restaurants often are around, around stations, train stations. So good luck finding them. I will try it for sure when I go to Japan and I'll let you know how it is. The next thing is eating on a budget. So you can go to a restaurant every day but that can be quite expensive most of the time. So they've advised me to go to a convenience store. You can have onigiri for around 1 euro and all kinds of meals for a reasonable price. And they even heat up your meat if you, for example, buy meat to put in some bread. They can warm it up for you at the convenience store itself. So when you leave the convenience store, you can start eating. So another question that I have asked those people are how is it with buses in Japan? I've seen some buses that you have to get in at the back, take a ticket and get out and pay the amount that is on the screen. Or Go up, go in front of the bus, pay the driver, sit, wait, and get out. So, I was kind of confused about all that, but mostly in the big cities, you can take your bus, go, go out the, in at the front, pay it, take a seat, wait for your bus stop, and, go, and get out. And if you are going outside of the cities for longer rides, you'll have to pay more or less on the distance th that you do and that is the moment that you have to walk in the back of the bus and yeah take a ticket look at the number look at the number on the board if you get out and pay the exact amount or use your IC cards and another thing I've asked is exchanging your money so yeah they gave me some good tips if you are going to Japan, it's best to change your money at your home country. Go to your local banks, ask if they can exchange your money, look at their rates. And if it's not possible, when you come in Japan, you can go to a bank, but if you want to exchange a larger amount, it's quite troublesome to exchange your money in Japan at post offices and banks. You can exchange it at airports but the rate will be much slower than you can get at other places. So yeah, keep that in mind. The best is to exchange your money when going to Japan. 
Kitty, kitty, kitty. Wiki, 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 wiki. And yeah, that were almost all the tips and advice. I only have one more tip. And that is, they, they've said it a hundred times. If you are friendly towards the Japanese people, they will be very friendly back. If you are looking in your map and you're looking lost, they will come up to you and ask with it where you have to go. Japan is a great country to go to. They love it there. They are now in Belgium for some years, but they are planning to go back. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Learned some basic and maybe useful tips that you may not have found anywhere else. And I'll see you all later. Thanks for watching, subscribe for more and bye bye.